What is up besties? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a grocery haul slash Trader Joe's haul and a QA. and a um, It is Sunday. I'm really hungover so your girl didn't really feel like cooking today so I Ubered eats some food. So once the food gets here we're going to sit down together and do like a little mukbang of answering questions and eating food at the same time. Is that basically what a mukbang is? My brain's barely working, so I'll be surprised if I fully get through this video without, like, sounding like an idiot. Anyways, Target. Let's start with Target. I never can go into Target and get what I need. I always come out with way more than I need. Anyways, these muffins, so freaking good. I got a new flavor of Celsius, the Oasis Vibe. Excited to try it. Got some egg whites. And two things of cottage cheese. This is where things get interesting. I found these like shorts. They look so comfy. So I got them in this gray color and a pink color. Look at this. So cute. And then I am obsessed with like this crop um, zip up. So this is the third color I have now. They had this new blue. Look at how gorgeous this is. So, I got those. And then I really desperately need sandals. So, I did go in there for the sole purpose of getting sandals. So, we got these ones right here, super cute. They're like beachy. And then just like a white pair, because white is versatile. It will go with everything. Now let's get into the Trader Joe's haul. So, this week for groceries, I want to do like a stir fry type bowl. And then I'm just going to keep doing my egg tacos for lunch. So I got some onion. I got a lot of turkey, like a lot of deli turkey meat, some cilantro. And I got like three different um, types of turkey because I was like, I don't really know which one's my favorite. So I was like, I'm gonna get three different types and then decide on which one's my favorite. So zucchini, these new little egg fritter things. I really wanted to try it. So I got it um, for the stir fry bowl. I got pre-made stir-fried veggies already because I don't feel like chopping things up this week. I got some, oh, I got some rice. <laughs> totally forgot I got that. Um, some grounded turkey, ground turkey, not grounded. You guys always make fun of me with that. Um, a lot of chicken. Oh, let me see more things in here. Oh, cabbage as well for the stir-fry bowl. We got some baby carrot things to go in the stir fry bowl, microgreens, some blueberries and raspberries, and ooh, guys, I've been meaning to get this dill pickle seasoning, so I finally got it. They are always out of it every time I want to get it. And then two things of my favorite, jalapenos, the sweet jalapenos. And then another onion, because I want to try to make like caramelized onions, if that's what they're called. So I'm gonna try to do that, and then a wellness shot. So that is everything. I'm gonna put everything away right now. And then once my Uber Eats gets here, you best bet we're gonna chow down and answer a lot of questions. Look how good this looks. I am so excited. I got moon bowls. And if you guys didn't know, pretty much every day you can buy one, get one free if you order through Uber Eats. So next time me and Taylor get Uber Eats, we're gonna get this. So that way we get a free bowl. This is so good. Ah, all right, let's get into the q and I'm excited. So as you guys know, I'm gonna do a Q&A on Instagram stories once a week. And then whatever I don't answer, I'm gonna sit down and answer them with you guys. We got a lot, lot to go through. Any tips on making a spicy account? Um, honestly, my advice for this is like, if I didn't have social media, I probably wouldn't do it. It's because I already have a reach of an audience as to is why I'm doing it. I wouldn't push or promote anyone to do OnlyFans. It's such a weird subject because like obviously like doing OnlyFans, I have definitely gained more like confidence and like feeling more like feminine and like control over my body. I don't get naked on OnlyFans by the way. I don't plan on ever doing that. Um, we shall see. Probably not. You don't want to do it and then regret doing it. If you say, my biggest fear was if I made an OnlyFans and like no one subscribed and then like I went with it and did it and then like 
I feel like for me, it wouldn't have been worth it. With the money that I do make from it, I find it worth it. You know, so that's where my stance is on it. You can do it. All you, if you think you can promote it, get some side cash coming in, then go for it. But I'm never gonna be like, everyone should do it. You should do it, like forcing people to do it. Someone, I got a lot of OnlyFans questions. Someone was like, are you okay sharing your, how much you make on OnlyFans? Or like, what's your, like which source of income makes the most? OnlyFans is my biggest source of income. Um, I just find it weird when people ask how much someone makes. Like, I don't know, when I'm hanging out with friends, like I'm not like, so how much is your salary? Or like, how much are you making? I just feel like it's a weird subject to bring up or ask. I do understand though, like my job is very interesting. I have so many different sources of income and people are curious how much I make. But that's just something that I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable talking about. I have no problem explaining to you guys how I get paid, telling you my different sources of income and all that fun jazz. But when it comes to like the actual like amount, that's just not something I like to talk about. What mascara do you use? I use telescopic. I love the L'Oreal telescopic mascara. I just recently bought their waterproof one as well. And I wore it on the boat yesterday. My mascara stayed so good from like 8 a.m. till this morning. Like, I, I slept over Sneaky Link's house last night, so like, I didn't have makeup remover. And I walked in the door and Taylor was like, oh my god, Sam, like your makeup looks really good still. I was like, slay. So, someone asked me if they should go to a dermatologist to get clearer skin. I mean, I'm not really the best person to ask that. Taylor right now is working with a, um, not a dermatologist, but an esthetician. And she says it's working great. She goes to her, her esthetician once a month and they just do a lot of stuff. She gets a lot of advice, a lot of like things that she shouldn't, shouldn't be doing to her skin. So yeah, definitely always take advantage of like having access to potentially doing better for your own like self care, if that makes sense. Like I am a big believer that like as girls, as females, there's no problem with putting your money towards like feeling better. Like do that. Like I got smile direct, made me feel better. Got a boob job, made me feel better. Like there's no problem with doing any of those things. Like if you want to invest into a dermatologist, an esthetician, getting facials, like go for it. Just watch the documentary on the Boston Marathon. Um, where was I there slash what was my experience? So I was really young at the time. What was that, 2013, 10 years ago. I was actually in Florida because it was during my April school vacation. So my family and I were in Florida during it. So we were just watching it on the news. Our flight back to Boston got delayed because obviously they shut down the entire city. Like the entire city, no one was able to fly in and out. Schools were shut down, like no one was going to work. I don't know anyone directly that was affected and obviously my thoughts and prayers go out to anybody that was affected. As a city though, something like that is like, like Boston strong, like it's, like I'm getting the chills saying it, but like I love Boston so much. It's my home forever. Watching the Boston Marathon, all that stuff, like it makes me cry. Like I cry watching it because it's like, it's my home. Those are my people. Did you lose feeling in your nipples after surgery? I did for like three days. My, my nipples were really sensitive. I would take a shower and like the water would hit my nipple and I would be, oh, so sensitive. But it came back. They're cutting through nerves. So it's just, your nerve is just gonna need to get reattached. And that's like, what's happening. Maybe a dumb question, but do you get sore from your workouts? Hell yeah, I do. I get so sore. <laughs> my workout from the other day kicked my butt. Guys, this is really spicy. How do you feel on mushrooms? I just feel like high on life. Like that's literally what I feel like. Everything's like better. Like colors are brighter, shapes are cooler. Like if you were to look at the sky right now, you probably wouldn't really notice like a, a plane going through or like a bird. But when you're on shrooms, you notice like the plane, you notice the birds, you notice the ants on the ground. Like you just like, everything's more like high def. Does it get annoying having to post the link for everything I wear? Honestly, no. It's more of like, give me a second. I literally will post like my outfit and I don't even get like three seconds to breathe. And I have like a bunch of people 
down my throat about like the links but like y'all should know like I'm gonna link it I love linking things I feel like I like being organized like my um, highlights on my Instagram I feel like you're very organized and I like it I don't know and I by no means make good money off of linking my clothes I think I make like 3% of whatever is ordered pros and cons of having two younger brothers um, I think the pros is that like I'm very thick-skinned like nothing really bothers me someone can like say something mean to me and I will probably like go back at them with it like you know cons I guess cons would be like I never had a sister so I never really knew how to like have a relationship like that if that makes sense like when me and Taylor like moved in together it was definitely a learning experience to understand like because like Taylor's like a sister to me and I'm like well which also we don't fight though so like I know people are always like well sisters fight all the time they fight bigger bigger Taylor and I don't do that so like when I say she's like a sister to me I don't mean it in the sense of like we're catty we fight whatever but like she's like a sister to me because she's like my best friend I love her like she's my other half <clears throat> closer to your mom or your dad I would say probably my mom just because like my mom's my mom like I tell her girly things I don't tell my dad girly things me and my dad has have always like struggled with like a really good like emotional relationship I don't like showing him I'm sad I don't like showing him that like any emotions whatsoever but I will like call him crying like if I need <laughs> if I need something I'm like dad people are canceling me on the internet <sighs> um would I ever do a bikini show no I just have I I I like my social life too much to give it up and eating food not a question but love your personality you need your sneaky link to wipe you up yeah you guys I don't know what the deal is with that we've been like hooking up consistently for like three months like I nobody else and I'm like I can't tell if I have feelings for you or not weird weird situation Ugh, this kind of made me feel a little weird how much was my surgery for my boobs it was around seven thousand dollars and then like with additional stuff it was around eight thousand how often do I self tan I don't self tan even in the winter I hardly did either dream trip I don't know I really want to go to that like place that the Kardashians go to like it's like a hotel slash like villa that's like over the ocean Do you guys know what I'm talking about is that in like Fiji or something I have no idea tips for intuitive eating my girl we have a whole podcast episode on that should definitely check it out why do I do my makeup to go to the gym I found this question funny because when I posted the get ready with me for the gym the caption literally said why I do my makeup to go to the gym but Y'all have to remember, like, I'm filming all the time, so, like, I like to feel presentable when I'm on camera. Like, right now, I'm not wearing any makeup, but sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, I need to feel good in order to have a good workout. I'm recording myself. I'm gonna put some makeup on. Sometimes I honestly just put makeup on just to put makeup on for the content. Like, that get ready with me was, like, content. So I was like, let's fuck it up. Let's do it. So... Yeah, that's about it. I don't wear makeup to the gym for any other reason. And I also wear makeup to the gym a lot of the times because I know I'm doing something after and I'm not gonna like shower right away like whether I'm going and running errands or going to get lunch or something I don't know I don't see a problem with wearing makeup I just don't understand how some of you girlies can go literally like glammed up to the gym there's no problem with it by any means but like when I wear makeup to the gym I just want to like take my shirt and like go like this and like wipe my face and I'm like fuck I'm wearing makeup I'm gonna get my shirt all messy and I only was wearing blush, mascara, and concealer. So that wasn't even a lot of makeup. Like, this is good, but like, low-key, I'm like, what the fuck am I eating right now? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna end with one more, and then we can be done. Did you buy your home? No. This is a rental. I do want to buy a house, though, maybe in this neighborhood. I really like this neighborhood. We shall see one day. My lease is all the way up until tw June of 2024, and I'm gonna hopefully start the buying process again in like December like just start looking talking my to my lenders and go from there I hope you guys enjoyed this video I am going to try to finish this and go lay on the couch for the rest of the day because I am so hungover so love you guys make sure to subscribe literally 50% of you watching this right now are not subscribed so hit the subscribe down button down below and I'll see you in the next one